This video is for the Unit 1 Objective 7 Formative Key on Related Rates. So as we saw in class on Related Rates, we are working really hard to keep this topic manageable because uh, it can really blow up. But there are some keywords and phrases that help us to best understand when there are Related Rate questions. The first thing I notice is it states that um, it wants to see how fast. So that's key terminology that tells us it is a related rate problem. So what I want to remember is that both y and x are being treated as functions of time. So when I take my derivative here, I'm going to get dy dt equals 6x dx dt minus 4 dx dt. What am I trying to solve for? How fast is the y-coordinate changing? So that's dy dt. So what am I given? Well, I need an x value and I need dx dt. x-coordinate changing at a rate of 3. So dx dt is 3. I'm told that x in this problem is 1. So that leaves me with 18 minus 12 or 6 units per second. The level 3 is going to be one of our classic uh, cone problems. So we've got our classic cone problem here. Again, how fast? Keyword for related rate. Water level rising. And I am going to draw a diagram here of my cone. And I've got water being poured into this cone. The other key that I see in this problem is the cubed units here. Since we have cubed units, I know I'm going to want to work with a volume. And in the case of a cone, volume equals 1 3rd pi r squared h. What I want to remember in this case is that I want to be able to go from three variables to two variables. So I would like to find a way to relate radius and height. So I'm going to work in the case of this cone being completely full. When it's full, the height is 12 and the radius is 6. And I ultimately want to figure out the water level rising, so I'd like to get R in terms of H. So I'm now going to rewrite my volume this way. 1 third pi R squared times H or 1 third pi times h cubed over 4. And I'm going to clean that up just a little bit more to make it h cubed over 12 times pi. Alright, so now I have an equation for my volume all in terms of height. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my derivative. dv dt equals 3 pi h squared dh dt, all of that over 12. What am I trying to solve for? How fast is the water level rising when the water is 3 feet deep? We're told in this problem that the change in the volume is 10 cubic feet per minute. My height, I'm told, is 3 feet. 3 squared is 9. So I get 27 pi over 12. And now I've isolated dh dt. So I've got my final answer now. 120 over 27 pi. And then my units were feet per minute equals dh over dt. I have the level, uh, let's see what I have going on here. I have a trough, another trough problem here. I've seen this in class. I'm going to sketch a quick diagram here. Eight feet long. Bases are equilateral triangles pumped out of the trough at uh, five cubic feet per minute. So once again, I know once I've got this here, 
pumped out of the trough. It's going out. I know I'm again working with a volume here. So my volume is going to be set up in the following manner. It's a three-dimensional figure, so my volume is base area times length. Now my base is an equilateral triangle, and I know that to find the area of a triangle, I have one-half base times height times length. So in this case, I have four variables. I'd really like to get down to two if I can, but I definitely want to get down to at least three. So I'm going to start by thinking about this trough from a two-dimensional standpoint of a triangle. And in this case, the triangle is equilateral with all sides being two. So that top side, I'm going to split as one and one, which I now realize I have a 30, 60, 90 triangle, so that height is root three. So what I can now do is, from this triangle, say the base of the triangle to the height of the triangle is two over root three. We said in the problem the water level is rising, so I'd really like to keep H in my answer. So I now have volume equals one half. Uh, again, I want to keep height in there, so my base was two over root three H. So I have B times H times L, or volume equals one over root three h squared times l. So I'm at least down to three variables, which means I can pretty safely do the product rule here. And I'm going to do that now because I'm just lacking information to make any more relationships. So for my product rule, and I get the following. What am I trying to solve for? water level rising. So now it becomes an exercise in plugging in numbers and information. What's DVDT? It's being pumped out. It's negative 5 cubic feet per minute. What's H? Uh, the height is 8 inches. Well, 8 inches is the same as 2 thirds of a foot. DHDT is what I'm looking to solve for. The length of the trough is 8. And then what's DLDT? Well, DLDT is the change in the length of the trough. But the reality is the length of the trough isn't changing. So that term's going to go to zero. And now I can go ahead and I can solve for DHDT. That's going to be negative 15 root 3 over 4. And my units there are feet per minute.